Janet, I keep hearing probiotics. Mm -hmm. You've got to have a probiotic mm -hmm. because if you've taken out an antibiotic, you have to have probiotics. Mm -hmm. yes. I take one, I have no idea what it does right. and I have no idea what it's for. And I'm sure there's a lot of people mm -hmm. out there who don't know yes. exactly what it's for. So can you tell us a little bit yes. about probiotics? Probiotics, I think, are it's probably one of the most exciting areas now in natural medicine. Many studies have been done recently demonstrating that our immune function is intimately correlated to the health of our gut. And probiotics are a natural, we call them natural flora, that, go, that occur naturally in our digestive tract, but usually with life and stress and various dietary imbalances get diminished. So if we restore them on a consistent basis, we feel more strong. Our bowel works better, our immune system works better, even our brain. There's been research showing that some forms of depression are correlated with compromised probiotics in the bowel. So what do you recommend? What is a probiotic? Where do people get them from? Can right. they get them from Walmart, grocery stores, yes. health stores? There are many forms of probiotic. You can first get it through your food, through fermented foods, like sauerkraut. I did want to ask you about that yes. because everyone keeps saying kimchi. Kimchi. My, my yes, girls kimchi. are just walking around all the time right. drinking kimchi. kimchi. And, and Caroline yes. has fermented Kombucha foods with every... and fermented foods, yes. So what... Well, so, so again, I like yes. what you do because everything yes. you say is, don't go there before you do this. So, try, so, right. what's the, so for probiotics, right. what do you recommend first? Well, with the I, fermented think, foods? I think if you can start with your diet, that's great. You know, the fermented foods. So what like is a sour, fermented I, food? A fermented food is generally something that has sat with a starter for it sound a certain... Good. Sounds disgusting, <laughs> right? But it... It's actually quite beautiful when they make it. Like right. if you see someone making kimchi, it's amazing. They layer the vegetables and they put the starter in and it can sit for a month. Wow. Yeah. See, that, and would, then, that would make me think that it was horrible, horrible. if it was sitting right. for a month. But, but no, what's happening is that there are certain probiotics and prebiotics actually being made in the food. Now, not everyone is going to eat sauerkraut and kimchi. So for those who don't want to do that, you can buy at a grocery store, health food store, Walmart, Costco, you can buy probiotics. And you just take one And a everyone day? is different. Right. For example, there's a probiotic called lactobacillus, very common, and one called bifidus. Very commonly, babies have more bifidus in their bowel. Bifidus actually helps to prevent, for example, diarrhea. If you had suffered with diarrhea, you would want to get a bifidus probiotic, primarily. Oh. If you're constipated, you'd want to get lactobacillus and another probiotic called FOS. What about if you've been on an antibiotic and the doctor says you've got to have... Right, you want to get a combination, typically, of lactobacillus with a bit of bifidus, and if you're constipated, FOS. Now, would this be, would a probiotic be something you'd recommend taking every day? For some people, if you have immune issues, if you have allergies, if you have constipation or diarrhea or irritable bowel or heartburn, yes, take it until you feel stronger. You know, maybe you take it for two or three months and then you won't need it, but then maybe you'll need it once or twice a week. Those people of, in my patient load, who use probiotics, for example, during cold and flu season, are much less likely to come down with a cold or flu. Really? Really, and I've watched it for 30 years. It's, it's remarkable what the probiotic can do.